Assalamualaikum. In this video, I will explain to you another Poisson distribution. For the example, when you have to find the parameter lambda. Let's look at the question. If you are given the number of theft cases reported every day at police station has a Poisson distribution with the mean lambda, where lambda is an integer. The probability of at least one theft case was reported in a day is 0 0.8647 and the question asks you to find lambda. Now, for this kind of question, instead they're asking for probability, they ask you about the lambda which is the mean of occurrence. Okay, what's the question give is x, your random variable, is the number of thefts, cases. And they already mentioned that it has a Poisson distribution. So, x over here has a Poisson distribution. Do you know your lambda? You don't know your lambda, which is you're going to find. And do you know what is your space or time interval? You do know. Read between the lines because this number of theft cases is your random variable. Your time or space interval is over here. Where every day is actually a time interval. Where your lambda are known for every day. Okay? Now, question also give you one information. Which is the probability of at least one theft case was reported in a day is 0 0.867. Means that they already give you what is the probability when at least greater and equivalent to 1 was reported in a day is 0 0.867. So, you know this information. It's really important that you know how to take out the information. So, if you know this, then you can come up with a solution says that if you have p x greater than equivalent to 1 again so when poisson distribution when you have something asking probability x greater or more than k you need to use complement rule where if greater than equivalent than k you must minus out 1 minus by P x less than equivalent to k. Now, if this question, P x greater than equivalent to 1, is the wanted case, the unwanted case would be 1 minus by, what do you think? It will be P x less than equivalent. Do you have equivalent? You don't have equivalent, but you less than 1, right? What is it that it is the integer that it is less than 1? Only 0, right? So, you can always change. Instead of this, you can always change. Become 1 minus by Px equivalent to 0 is 0 0.8647. So, from here, you can work out your solution. So, 1 minus by. Now, this particular part, can you use the formula? You do can because... Px equivalent to r is e minus lambda, lambda power r over by r factorial. You know your r which is 0 but you don't know your lambda which is you want to find your lambda. So, e minus by lambda, lambda power of 0 over by 0 factorial equivalent to 0 0.8647. And then you simplify your equation. So, 1 minus by e minus lambda, you cannot simplify e minus lambda, but lambda power 0. Any number that it is powered by 0, you will get 1. So, lambda power 0 is 1. Lambda power 0 is 1. 0 factorial is also going to be 1. So, 1 over by 1, you will get as such 1. So, just simply you can put it as 
E minus lambda. So, equivalent to 0 0.8647. And then, simplify again. You want to find the lambda. So, you're going to get E minus lambda equivalent to. Now, 1 minus by 0 0.8647, you're going to get 0 0.8647. 1353 if i'm not mistaken okay correct now let's work out the solution over here okay now until here you already get a simplified equation but you still don't have the lambda so how to find the lambda because your lambda is now is an exponential if you still remember in maths one how you want to get or how you want to solve an exponential is you have to learn or log both sides. So, because you have a natural number e, you can always do ln both sides. Where ln e minus lambda, ln 0 0.1353. And then, use the property of log. This one can bring it down. It become minus lambda ln e equivalent to. This is going to give you negative 2.00026 something something. Okay. Now and then simplify. Because ln e will give you 1. Remember that. So this one is actually minus lambda multiplied by 1 minus 2. Actually, you can approximate to 2. So, your lambda, if you simplify, you divide it by the negative 1 both sides, you will have your lambda as such 2. So, this is your final answer.